about natural skin products and I'm going to show you how to take £1.99 and double your money, improve the quality of your skin and hair and feel beautiful. This coconut oil is like a Pax own brand if you're in London but I'm sure pure coconut oil can be picked up at really low prices in drugstores and beauty stores and I'm also going to make some liquid black soap. And I'm going to start with uh, liquid black soap. Okay. So, I will start with basically chopping the soap up. I guess you could grate it as well. I think I just started doing this one day. I ran out of that, you know, quite expensive liquid black soap that you can buy. And I just really wanted to use that on my skin. I think I was washing my hair or something because I normally wash my hair with black soap, either the bar or I use this homemade recipe. And I just, I just improvised. It was like chocolate. Two containers here, repurposed. This one's about 500 mils. I'll just divide it so most of the chopped up black soap goes in the big one, and the rest goes in the small one. Kitchen videos, cooking videos, they're the most complicated to make. <laughs> it's so much easier just sitting in front of the camera and having a chat. See, what I was going to do with the other set of footage from the weekend was like, while I was doing this, I would like cut away to some fun in the sun. But you can um, click on the link that's in the description box and watch that video as well. It was really fun. I'm really looking forward to summer. Summer in London, even though the wanderlust is nagging at me. I want to travel. I want to travel so bad. I would love just to go away now for a month and then come back for the summer. You know, eventually it's going to be like, I will only come back to London for the summers. <laughs> oh no, there'll be friends and a family watching. It's like, mm -mm, is it? Then someone in the comments is going to tell me something terrible about this brand of black soap. Dudu Osun is the age-long African black soap made the traditional way by hand from pure natural ingredients and herbs in capital letters from the tropical rainforests and savanna regions. No artificial colours, no preservatives, biodegradable. The ingredients pure honey, that's not vegan, shea butter, osun, camwood, palm kernel oil, I hope that's sustainably gathered, cocoa, potash, palm bunch ash, palm bunch ash, I've heard it, aloe vera, lime juice, water and fragrance. Okay, once you've got your two containers with your chopped up black soap, all you've got to do is add some water to it. This water's it's not boiling, boiled water. Whether or not it's cold, it's fine. And this will melt to your soap, simply. And if you leave those overnight, all of the solid black soap will obviously melt into the water. And then you can scent them. I'm going to make a lavender one. I do love lavender. About 10 drops. And in this one, I'm going to do orange and cinnamon. No, I'm gonna do orange and lime. That'd be nice, like a citrus fragrance. I put 20 drops of lime in. I mean, you can always go back and change it and play with it. I'm going to actually put a little bit of lavender. I think lavender, followed very closely by rose, are my favourite essential oils. So many still to try. So they're looking a little bit not so amazing at the moment. But when that completely melts away, it'll just be lovely, black and rich. Okay, so the next product I'm going to make is just to scent some pure coconut oil. Coconut oil cream for skin and hair nutrients. I've been using it for about two months because when I went to India it just cuts down on having to bring like loads of products when you're traveling. So what I do is I just 
grab some of this, transfer it into this container. And then to make life easy, I just put that in the microwave, the only thing I do use my microwave for, because I don't use it for food. And melt it, and then add my essential oils. Okay, so while that's happening, I'll just quickly talk about my sugar scrubs. This one is a rose and lime, and this one is a chocolate scrub. And it's just amazing. I'm so glad I've discovered the virtues of sugar scrubs. And they're so simple to make. It's basically this coconut oil, not granulated, it was like caster sugar that I had in my cupboard from like moons ago, so I just repurposed it, and then your fragrances, and with the rose one I actually ground up some rose petals, some dried rose petals, and added it to it. Let me check on the melting of the coconut oil, okay, less than a minute on medium, I'll come back to that, um, yeah, no, and how I use them is on the skin like you can use them as an oil cleanser and you just rub it gently into the skin and then use a hot cloth to allow that to soak in and then slowly take the hot cloth dip it in some hot water and then buff your face all around and it just leaves your face being gorgeous and then you can also use them on your full body the chocolate one on full body is amazing so you know you wash with your black soap and then use the sugar scrub to exfoliate and then again take the washcloth and then just buff your skin all over rinse off i'm telling you walk out of that shower feeling like cleopatra the real one <laughs> so that's a sugar scrub it's gorgeousness and then what i do with this and i really want to replicate the one that i made when i went to india that's the thing about natural products they're different every time like raw food um orange oil i put five drops in Cinnamon leaf, four drops, and then cardamom. And I'm only going to put one drop of cardamom because it's really strong. And that's it really, just mix it up. And then when that sets again, it'll just be delicious, beautiful, pure coconut oil that you can use on your skin and hair. Oh, it reminds me of being in Beautiful. Okay, so the last one I'm going to demo is a mouthwash. Really simple, sea salt. About half a teaspoon. Bicarbonate of soda. A teaspoon. and then fill that up with some water. The fragrance is some peppermint, and I'm gonna put lime in. I think lime really works this as well. So mint and lime mouthwash. And then it's also a good idea to put some um, clove oil, which is really good for the gums. Okay, okay. It's that simple. And give it shape. Beautiful. And lastly, I use this Dead Sea Bath Salts. Bath Salts is really good for detoxing your body, especially Epsom salts. So I usually add this to my bath. To scent it, I'll put it into a container and then add the essential oils on top. So if you just put the essential oils into the bath, and it just sticks inside of the bath. But if you use the salt, you get double the benefits anyway. So um, let me know in the comments which of these you would like mostly like to use. Liquid black soap, the skin and hair oil, mouthwash, the sugar scrubs, or the scented bath salts. Do let me know. Yeah, I'm going to end the video here and say thank you very much for watching. Please do share and favourite this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Welcome to the Fruit Fam. Don't forget to keep reaching for those good feeding thoughts. Fragrance it with some peppermint, it's really good for your, obviously for breath, improved smell of your breath.